Hey guys, it's Project X here, and today we're going to be continuing on our conquest of the Empire of Cats into Empire of Cats Chapter 2. As you saw in the last video, we beat the moon pretty easily since it's not that hard of a stage. We easily beat it with our enormously powerful cats, and we are on, we are on Chapter 2. Now this chapter is pretty important. It gives us a pretty good unit, Valkyrie Cat, at this point of the game. Which, if you don't know, is a good unit. Well, at least at, up to a certain point of the game. And as you have noticed, our cats are now more expensive. I like this gimmick in, in Empire of Cats, even though it's, like, it's only for Empire of Cats in general. But luckily, if we beat this chapter, our cats get upgraded to level 10. I mean, level 20, never mind. To level 20. In this opportunity, I always thought China would be a more powerful nation, but I guess in the Bow Cats, China's weak in basically every single chapter you fight them. Unless at uh, the hardest chapter China you fight is the um, Into the Future Chapter 3 Zombie Outbreak, but I'm pretty sure I beat that like a while ago and it wasn't that hard. But yeah, let's do it, and yeah, let's go. We defeated China. No more shark fin. Nice. Treasures are always appreciated. And since there is a treasure festival going on, that's nice. Okay, Thailand. Let's see if... Let's just see if... Okay, looks like our Titan Cat is now virtually more expensive. Now we need to upgrade it three, two times to forward one. But at least our wall cat's still pretty tanky at this point in the game. Let's see if our Titan Cat still retains the same power. Send out another one for good measure. And because our I did not upgrade the cat power, it's fine. Let's keep waiting and waiting. And we should be able to send out Titan Cat. And there we go. Titan Cat is summoned. I also unlocked some new units, but we'll be covering that later. Anyways, let's just keep on going. Titan Cat is a pretty good unit. I don't understand the back mace. It kind of looks like it has like hair on the back, which is a bit creepy to me. But yeah, whatever. Hmm, no treasure. Strange. You can do a treasure festival. Maybe my luck isn't as good as I thought it was. Maybe my luck is making some of this up. I don't know, maybe. Like our initial... Our initial 1,000 cash is only enough to get enough, like, units for this, but yeah. Okay, let's see. We'll need to keep going. I also realized that we're probably going to need to start grinding some treasures, as it is a treasure festival, and it is a good time to start grinding. But for now, we'll push onward. Cambodia, still no treasure, sadly. Philippines. Mm, shouldn't be that bad, actually. Not that I remember. Into the Future, Philippines is quite different. Honestly, Into the Future does get a lot harder, but this is only Chapter 2 of Empire of Cats, so it should be that bad. I never realized it made a sound when you couldn't afford a cat. I never knew that. But for right now, since so we're not going to wait too long, uh, the first row should be able to handle the levels quite easily so far. Superior treasure. Always nice to see that. Japan. That's where the hippo comes in. Like the first introduction of the hippo, I guess? I'm not really sure how to put it. I'm not sure why this looks a bit more Japanese. I'm not sure, but why does it look such lower quality than, than I normally do? think it is also if you is anyone japanese i know i have a, some part of a, of a japanese audience so yeah shout out to you if you if you're watching this and you're from japan anyways yeah also do do you kyoto's or I'm, I'm not i kind of forgot how to pronounce it but whatever those red things are do those have those, the lines on it because i'm not sure okay is hippo outranged or is ninja cat outranged by the hippo i'm not sure the hippo always strike me as a unit with them, not that much range, but yeah. Okay, there we go. We got inferior, but eh, new cat. I don't think it's that important of a cat, so but let's just keep pushing on. We're on to Australia. 
I always think of Into the Future, when I think of Australia, I think I always think of the state just before the Great Abyss. That's why I think of when I think of Australia. But since we're still in Empire of Cats, it shouldn't be that bad. Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay. Victory is ours, and we got an inferior treasure. Even though it's just inferior, any treasure is good for us because, well, it's treasure, and all those treasures add up eventually. Singapore, why is this one so much higher quality than the other one I remember seeing in the main game? Well, this confuses me. Also, since when is the stage so big? Eh, oh well. Probably just me. Let's see, let's see if we can start our dragon stacking. Oh, we sent our first dragon cat. Let's start using some meat shields to protect it. This is our f the beginning of the dragon stacking strat. Send our dragon cat and start meat shielding. Protect that dragon cat with your life. Bell cats, good game. Honestly, gotta protect, keep stalling to protect that dragon cat. Upgrade wallet and keep spamming meat shields. See how dragon cat holds up. So now ninja cat has some supplementary damage and and meat shielding. Okay, there we go. There we go, yeah, we beat Singapore. We got a normal Merlin statue, nice. We got the Maldives, I don't even remember. I swear, why is Balkis subconsciously teaching me geography? I think this is where they introduced Peach in the first chapter, for what I believe. If you've ever been to the Maldives, then good for you, I'm not sure, but it looked pretty cool from the base. I'm guessing it's more of a seashore paradise. I'm guessing, but I'm not too sure. Those guys are not too bad. Nothing too bad. Okay, there's a peach, but I don't think it's that bad. There's a strong against red should be pretty good. And there we go. We're good. Really need some of those more worker cat upgrades, but we should be inferior treasure. Not that good, but okay. Bird to nothing, India. Okay. India, okay. I can't tell, is that burrito with salsa on it, I think? I think that's what it is, but I can't be too sure. If that's like, I don't, I'm not sure if a burrito is that like Indian, I'm not sure. If you're Indian and you're watching this video, then I'm not sure actually. Well, if, if you're from India and you're watching this video, then is this really cuisine? I'm not sure, I haven't been to India, so I don't know. Okay, let's see. We got, okay, we got Hippo, but I don't think he's gonna break through our line, hopefully. Come on, Ninja Cats, you can do this. Please, okay, you have to go. I think Sexy Legs got the final hit, I'm not sure. We also got Superior, we got Superior Curry and New Cat. What is this new cat? Why do I think it is a special cat? Is this special? Uh, probably just not a special cat, I'm guessing. Let me see. Oh, well, yeah, just another actress cat. Nothing too special. Okay, onward to Nepal. Ooh, I just realized I have enough. Wait, what? Uh, wait, so what do I have? Wait, what? Strange, since when is my worker cap? Oh right, yeah, the giant safe thing. Oh yeah, that's helpful. Now our, our basically, our thing is like one and a half times more. I forgot about the giant safe. It increases your worker cap capacity. That's nice. That's why treasures matter. Gotta get those treasures. They have big effects on us. I cannot understand. Even this is like, I'm not even sure how much quality this emulator has, but... 
Looks pretty good. We got two pages, but uh, hopefully our line is able to hold up before so our cats can destroy it. Uh oh, we're no longer hitting the base. That's not a good sign. And never mind, we knock them back, and there we go. Yay. Okay, we got a deviation. I'm not sure what that is, but okay. Dubai, I just remember the stage as the Cyberhorn stage from Into the Future Chapter 2, I think. Um, also, this, on, on the Into the Future base, there's a golden guy standing on there. I'm not sure what lore that hints to or something. I'm not actually sure. Okay, let's keep on going. Okay. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay. And there we go. We got, okay, there we got some annoying penguins. But it should, we should be able to hold them off, hopefully. Keep on spamming, okay. Come on, come on. Oh, oh wait, okay. Please, please. And I think we got it. Yep, let's go. Dubai is gone. We got our superior treasure. Man, my luck is like such good and bad today. We got Jackie Pang, I guess. Nice. Hmm. Okay, clear a stage while using a cat combo. And play a stage in. Okay, sure, we can do that for some free cat food. Cat Dojo. We got a ranking event, but I don't think it's that. So, like, the gimmick about this thing is is that the gimmick of this thing is basically you you don't get... The, basically, the gimmick of this thing is that enemies don't give you any money. So that's why we're not going to get a very high score in most cases. Let's survive. And this thing does, like, a ridiculous amount of HP, and there we go with an elephant. Might not even beat this one. Oh, actually, has a, I didn't even notice that there. That leaves a mark. So when is that a thing? I'm not sure. The plan is pretty annoying. Not really too interesting, but all I really have to do is do a stage. I think I basically permanently stall this elephant. Or Le Boyne, as they call it, I guess. It's very annoying to the point limit. Honestly, most of the point limit restrictions I personally hate. Normally, the point limit is 50, but I don't think we're going to, like... But, but, like, when it's only 10, which I'm guessing the point limit is, it's annoying. No, we can basically permanently stall this elephant because our wall cat's recharge is fast enough to the point where it, since it can tank a hit, however, then they can't take another hit, which means we have to fire the cat cannon off, or else the elephant gains some ground. But there you go, we got 23 points, not very good. Yeah. We're in the training rank, obviously. But if we go back to the Empire Crash Chapter 2, Empire of Darkness, we should get this. Yeah, okay, let's go. We can also recruit Gamto assistant, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Oh, we're really in lock Gamto on this account. Mm. We're not really into the springs. We're not that desperate for XP, so we're gonna. Shalom Kingdom. See how it goes. There's also these, but they're not very useful, so. Well, not right now, so the, the, the Gaunt Hedo and the base aren't that important until, like, after Bun Bun. Hmm, let's see what treasures we have. Oh, yeah, we definitely need some more treasures here until we get cap money production. Wall of production's nice. Hmm, my max looks like we max out will be 2,000. And then 3,000. Yeah, it should be like 3,000, I think. XP when you clear stage. Yeah. HP base. Money ornament defeating an enemy. Base health. 
attack power. Let's increase the cannon. Can't get not that important to recharge the speed of the cannon. I think this one also increases the da damage. I think I'm not actually sure. And that. So yeah. Okay, let's see. We're Saudi Arabia. Let's keep on going. Saudi Arabia, okay. This stage isn't too difficult, and there is a hippo at the start, but that shouldn't be too bad. As far as I know, at least. We also have that free cat god, but I'm not sure what I'm going to use it on. We're definitely not going to waste it. Since I know if you open it, you're basically, like, forced to use it. And if you force close, it will autom it glitches and it will automatically use it up, which is sad. So that's why I've decided not to even use God once since then. But God isn't too necessary. The only really good one is Baby Boom, but it's pretty expensive until after you beat Katsu Cosmos Chapter 1, which I have beat on my main account, which gives you the... Which gives you the like the seventy percent discount off the God's blessings, which is nice, I guess. I personally don't use them that much, but I can see how it's useful sometimes. Kenya, uh, same with this. I think it's Tanzania. I'm not really, I'm not really a geography person, but if you are, I think that's right. I'm for sure. Okay, let's see. Keep going. Also, guys, really need need some more comments on, on videos. I appreciate you guys leaving them. If you do, then great. If you don't, then make sure to leave one. I really love reading them and replying to you guys. So make sure to leave one at, at the description at the bottom of this video. Okay, well, I think I think there's not that many annoying enemies. Just really okay. It's Peach, but... Eh. Not really a boss. I'm not sure why they haven't used any boss sack wipes yet. I'm not sure, but maybe later on. I don't really know. Sea of Maasai. Okay, I don't even remember that treasure being a thing. Some of the treasures are pretty weird. Madagascar. Uh, I remember how they like they changed the shading of the tree in the in Into the Future. It makes it more like steel. I'm not sure what the reference is to that. I'm not sure actually. Or even if there is reference. So, okay, so if I get the giant save to, to full power, it should have give me 2,000 cents in this chapter, 3,000 cents in the next chapter, and 4,000 cents in the next chapter, right? So right now, if I get all the treasures, that, that means my current max capacity for this stuff is about 1,500. Okay, the gories are more buffed. Which is not good. So our current max first level worker capacity is 3,000 cents. I mean, if I were to have all the treasures, which I sadly don't right now. Okay, these gories actually might be our first loss. Okay, okay, yeah, that's the first loss. We're not gonna... Nope. I'm born in a rich cat. And this time we're gonna stall in the beginning. So our current so with the rich cat, our current max war we're gonna pass five thousand eighty. Okay. I'm gonna start stalling for a wall cat. The main one I wanna focus on is the research one since I find that pretty important right now. I'm not sure how much DPS those those guys have. I kind of wish the battle cats had health bars. Sometimes, it, if you knew that they have ha how many health health, even though like when there is enemy spam, it is annoying. But sometimes it, I I wouldn't like maybe like health bar on or off sometimes so you know how much HP is left. I think that'd be a pretty nice feature to have. Okay, there's some peons, but this should stop them, and we should be able to send out Ryan. And there we go. Okay, now we should be good to start taking out those gories. I do like, I don't know, wait, what's the fourth? Like, there's a third, okay, there's another, oh, is that like the one of the things? I'm not sure. Okay, so there is three, okay. Why am I thinking something else? I thought that was like a mysterious fourth one, but like, there, he shoots this three in total. I'm not okay. I guess I get the face down pretty far. I think you can pretty much one shot them. Nice. 
Yeah, definitely. Let's go. We got normal IR and we got the relatively clock. I'm not really sure what that is. But, now that I know that, let's up we ride into a... Like, okay, so it's now Dragon Slayer ride. Okay, okay it says one of us is not back. And Dragon Slayer. Nice. An ancient ride was forced to set to overdrive an ancient anti cat dragon weapon. Okay. Like how, like, I like how some people have mentioned this. Like, for some reason, why is, is Ryan in a set full of dra- Like, according to the description, he's, he's designed to kill dragons, but he's in a set full of dragons. That's always wondered me and many other people in the community. If, if, if you're, like, a bonus developer, wonder why. Is this just an aesthetic choice or what? Okay, let's keep on stalling. There's a good amount of peons. Okay, no, the peons aren't there, so we're gonna have to wait. I remember the long of the. Okay, okay, we're gonna stall. Luckily, our base has a good amount of HP, so we should be able to tank for a decent amount of time. Yeah, we'll just let him on our base. See how this new dragon riding looks because I don't have riding on my main account, sadly. Well, I don't have a majority of the Ubers. Okay, that looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. I like how they gave the old rustic vibe and more like a cooler vibe. Pretty nice. Gotta love those rich cats, too. Very useful. Most levels riding won't be that necessary, but. It's always nice to have a ride in the round. Even though he's, he falls off later on when I get newer Ubers, he'll be good for, for most of Empire of Cats. Okay, we don't think we're gonna need a rich cat. We're gonna need more energy though. But I think that's it for today. Let me see how many stages we are in, we are in, in the chapter. Okay, we're 18 stages and not bad, not bad. Okay, there we go, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. See you guys soon, and bye. Prejrex, out.